I am a big fan of sports. This is me at a Wisconsin football bowl game back in 2014. And as a proud Wisconsin native, I have attended many Wisconsin sporting events with my friends and family. Naturally, when I don't go to see the Brewers, Bucks, or Packers in person, I watch at home from my couch. Now, my favorite sports game of all time was when the Bucks won the NBA championship in 2021. Watching this game was a core memory for me as a Bucks fan. And if you're a sports fan like me, you all know the suspense of watching a really big game and in the final few minutes, just when you're ready to see the outcome, a commercial break comes on. <laughs> and I know you've all seen commercials for medicines on TV, maybe while your favorite team is playing. You know the commercials where someone goes looking, from looking really sad in black and white to frolicking in a colorful field right after taking their medication, and then a voice reads off a terrifying list of side effects at a really fast pace. Yeah, these commercials. <laughs> and I know you've all heard of some of the big pharmaceutical companies like Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, and Pfizer. And these companies seem to be coming out with life-changing medications all the time. However, what goes on developing these drugs behind the scenes is actually very complicated. Drug discovery is traditionally a very long, uncertain, and expensive journey. Imagine you're trying to bake the perfect chocolate chip cookie, except you've got 10,000 recipes to test, and testing all of them takes 15 years and $2 billion. Oh, and almost all of them turn out to be some sort of a disaster. This is kind of what drug development is like. This process ident involves identifying the biological causes of a disease, developing compounds to stop disease mechanisms, and then many, many rounds of testing. And most of the time, it doesn't even work. Only around 10% of drugs that make it to clinical trials are ever brought to market, and many, many more are abandoned in the earlier stages. Not only am I a sports fan, but I'm a biological engineer very interested in drug development. I believe there's nothing inherently wrong with the current state of drug discovery, but if we want to bring medications to the people who need them, we might want to speed up the process. And artificial intelligence can help us do just that. At the most basic level, designing therapeutics requires understanding the structure, function, and interaction of biomolecules. Uh, using traditional methods, determining the structure of a single protein took months or even years but deep learning is completely changing the game. One of the most transformative deep learning tools to date is AlphaFold. AlphaFold was created by Google DeepMind and recently earned the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So some of you have maybe heard talk of AlphaFold in the news, but what makes it so special? And what does it even do? Well, it is a deep learning model trained on thousands of known protein structures. And it can predict the structure of a protein in minutes, when it used to take months or years. Here's how it works. First, you input the sequence of a protein, which is a list of amino acids. Then AlphaFold compares this sequence with known protein sequences from databases. And the star of the show is an evoformer, a neural network that uses this sequence comparison and spatial constraints to predict which parts of the protein chain will be near each other in space. This information is then converted to a 3D coordinate prediction for each part of the protein. And finally, poof, AlphaFold spits out a 3D model of the protein structure. And the release of AlphaFold was transformative for biology because it tackled one of the most challenging problems in the field. So let's take a look at a protein structure in action. This twisty turny thing you're looking at is angio angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE. Its job is to raise our blood pressure. The structure of ACE allows it to bind molecules in the body that eventually lead to its role in blood pressure regulation. AlphaFold has the power to make structures like this for proteins that we know very little about. So AlphaFold allows us to look at new proteins up close and personal. That's very cool. 
But how does this help us design new therapeutics? Well, the first step in the drug discovery pipeline is target identification, where researchers identify specific biological molecules or targets that play an important role in their disease or disorder of interest. A lot of drugs work by inhibiting the target or stopping it from doing something that leads to disease pathology. These inhibitors bind to the target in a specific way. And in order to design them, you need to understand how the target does its job through its binding site. This is where AlphaFold steps in. AlphaFold allows you to predict the structure of the target so that researchers can study its binding site. Then we can think about potential compounds that will interact with the target and stop it from progressing disease. So let's return to our good friend ACE. You may have heard of ACE inhibitors, which are medications that block ACE and stop it from raising our blood pressure. So ACE is used to treat high blood pressure and also protect the kidneys of people with diabetes. The pink molecule in the middle is lisinopril, an ACE inhibitor. We can see in the structure how lisinopril binds ACE, which is directly related to its function. And AlphaFold predicts structures for targets like this that aren't as well studied, and it can also predict where potential inhibitors will bind. Once you have a predict predicted structure for a target and several potential inhibitors, what comes next? Well, tools like AlphaFold allow you to identify the best possible inhibitors to test in the lab. Since testing drugs in animals and humans can be a very long and expensive process, it helps to narrow down the compounds you actually want to test, kind of like a dating app. You search through some potential options and talk to a few people before deciding who you actually want to go meet on a date. So the way we do this in drug discovery is by scoring potential inhibitors. So I was a defender on the MIT soccer team for four years, so I was super excited when I got to score something, even if it was through my research. And, <laughs> and there are many things that make a potential inhibitor promising, and this is what your scoring function should reflect. So some common aspects of scoring functions I work on include hydrogen bonds formed, which is shown in yellow, hydrophobic interactions, which are shown in green, and then also the change in free energy upon binding. So basically, just a bunch of biology concepts that tell us if the drug has the potential to actually work in the human body, which can save us lots of time and money in later phases of the process. So Google DeepMind may have given us AlphaFold, but researchers at MIT are actually developing their own deep learning models for predicting protein structure. One tool developed at MIT is Bolts1, which is a fully open source model released last December that can achieve the same performance of, as AlphaFold. And the most exciting thing about the release of Volts One is the fact that it's open source. Previously, only organizations with massive resources, like pharma companies or large universities, could engage in this process. Now, diverse populations of researchers at smaller universities or startups around the world can access these tools to look into the targets that they really care about. By lowering the financial and technical barriers to entry, AI drug discovery tools encourage global collaboration and innovation. If you told a biologist 15 years ago that in a decade they would be able to design drugs from their own personal laptop while wearing sweatpants, sipping coffee, and maybe even watching Netflix in the background, they might have laughed in your face. Deep learning has completely redefined what's possible in the field of drug discovery. So what's next for deep learning in drug discovery? My answer would be, I have no idea. Since AlphaFold was released in 2018, an entire ecosystem of startups, research labs, and biotech dreamers has grown around it. Someday soon, deep learning will help us develop drugs for targets that have been confusing scientists for decades. And when that happens, the next pharmaceutical commercial might say, designed using AI, right before the side effects are still read at two times speed. Okay, thank you for listening. <laughs>